excited to do something productive because all I've done so far this morning is listen to the Beauty and the Beast soundtrack and uh, eat chocolate. So. Hey everyone, it's Amy and today I have another decluttering video for you guys because you seem to be really enjoying watching them and I am really enjoying making them. Since the new year I've been going through bit by bit and getting rid of all the junk in my life and it is so therapeutic, it feels so good. I made a whole video about how I got rid of loads of clothes from my wardrobe. So today I'm going to be doing the same thing with my makeup, beauty, skincare, cosmetics hoard. <laughs> um, it's not even a collection, it's just a hoard of things. So I'm going to be going through and trying to like cut out the stuff that I don't use, the stuff that I know I'm not going to use. I've never done a declutter of all my makeup and beauty supplies, I don't think ever. So this could be interesting. Wish me luck. Okay, let's start with what should be the easiest drawer, which is my lipstick drawer. There's really not that much in here, so it shouldn't be too difficult. <sighs> but somehow it just is anyway. <sighs> okay, so immediately I know this e.l.f. lipstick can go because I would never repurchase this. This is the e.l.f. moisturising lipstick in Party in the Buff. And it just comes out orange on me because I'm so pale, it looks hideous, and I've never worn it, I never will, I don't want to, so why do I still have it? This I also know I don't like. I have two Clinique Super Balm moisturising lip glosses. I definitely don't need two of them. This Colour Sensational Maybelline lip stain can go. I wanted to love this but it just wasn't lovable. Why is it that I seem to have two of everything? That's really unnecessary. So far, so good. I just have to keep plowing on. I am absolutely amazed at the amount of nail varnish that I own. Considering I very rarely even bother to paint my nails, I have a heck of a lot of them. This is gonna be the harder side. Okay, so in this drawer I have my eyeliners, mascaras, eyeshadow quads, eyeshadow singles, all things eyes, and I know there's a lot of junk in here that I never use. Oh my goodness, there are a lot. I think with like my foundations and my concealers, because there aren't so many of them and I know exactly what I've got and I know exactly what I use, then I didn't really need to pull everything out. But with this straw, I feel like I'm gonna have to go through each thing individually and really ask myself, do I wanna keep this? Because there's just so much in here that I don't even know what I own. So in instances like that, I think it's better to go through one item at a time so you can really address the problem. Some of these things are obvious keeps, even things that I don't necessarily love, like this Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner. I don't love it, and when I'm through with it, I'm not gonna repurchase it, but I don't wanna throw it out. I'd rather just get it over and done with and then move on, you know? I don't even know what this is. The labeling is completely rubbed off, so mystery product, I don't know, I don't use it. I'm finding that as I'm going through, I'm not necessarily getting rid of that much, but I'm rediscovering things that i totally forgotten that I even owned. I want all these mascaras, hashtag sorry, not sorry. I need them all, okay? I have this Revlon eyeshadow quad that I think I had for free with something and I've never used it. And to be honest, I have so many nude eyeshadows in my big palettes up here that I'm, I'm never gonna reach for this. So this can go. I've got this Wet n Wild glitter single in bleached that I've never opened and probably never will. I just have empty eyelash boxes. I don't know, there's not even eyelashes in there. Okay, this right here is the drawer of doom. This is where all the stuff that doesn't technically fit into any of these other drawers goes, you know, just like random bits and pieces and any samples that I get. So it's basically a drawer of junk, essentially.
Okay, so this is all the stuff that was either lurking in this junk drawer or in a secret junk box that I keep under my bed. And pretty much all of this is either stuff that's brand new and that I never got around to using and then probably forgot about, or samples. And I need to deal with this situation, people, because look at this. Look at this. Who even knows what's in there? Oh, this is hard work. Okay, so I managed to condense down everything that was in this big box and this drawer into just this. And I've tried to lay it out so I can kind of see what's in there as well, which is obviously gonna be helpful. And what I decided to do was to keep back some of the little sample sized shampoos and conditioners and cleansers and stuff. Um, I kept back a few of the ones that were nicer just to put in this little bag because they're really useful when I'm traveling. You know, if I'm just taking a carry-on and I'm limited to the amount of liquids I can take. So I thought I'd keep some of those back. Some of them are in the to toss pile, as well as most of these things are brand new. I'm gonna go through all the stuff that I got rid of in a second, but first I just wanted to show you Look, it's like a miraculous transformation. One of the biggest challenges for me personally when I'm decluttering, especially with stuff like this, is that I hate waste. I hate throwing things in the bin because A, I've spent money on it, and B, it's just wasteful. You know, I'm not about that. I wanna be as environmentally conscious as I can be, which I guess some of you will say, buy less stuff. And you would be right, but now that I have got all this stuff, I don't want to throw it all into the bin. So what I've tried to do is anything that I think I can use up, I've put to like the top couple of drawers that I go into every day. So I can just use up the remnants of like moisturizers that have a little bit left in them. Any makeup that has not much left in it, I'm gonna try it within the next few weeks and just use all that up so all the empties can just move along. And what I've decided to do with all this stuff that I want to get rid of is first I'm going to offer it to my family and friends and then anything that they don't want. There's this really great charity called Give and Makeup and you can send all your makeup and cosmetics either new or partially used which is great. Um, and you can send them to this address, I'll link the website down below, and they will distribute them amongst women who are fleeing domestic violence. A couple of these things I've maybe swatched once or tried once or twice and decided they weren't for me, and then what do you do with them? I don't wanna throw them away, but you can't take them to the charity shop. So I love that idea. So I'm gonna be sending a bunch of stuff to them as well. Okay, so this is all the stuff that I'm gonna get rid of, which I think is pretty good going for about an hour's work. I would say that about 80% of this stuff is brand new and has never even been used. I just cannot believe the amount of stuff. Okay, that's another big decluttering task done. It didn't take as long as I thought it was gonna take. It took about an hour, an hour and a half, so nowhere near as long as the whole wardrobe issue took. I got rid of a fair amount of stuff and I'm feeling pretty good about it. The thing with makeup and cosmetics is that I know that in two weeks time I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna do another giant shopping spree because that's just the nature of having a YouTube channel where you do makeup tutorials and product reviews. You're constantly buying stuff in. I'm not necessarily opposed to having a load of makeup and a load of cosmetics because great, that's something I enjoy, but I just wanna make sure that my collection is full of stuff that I actually like and that I actually use. There is no point in me having, you know, drawers and drawers of makeup and skincare stuff that I hate. 
What's the point in that? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up to let me know. These kinds of videos always feel a little bit all over the place because you can't plan it, you just have to do it. So do let me know if you enjoyed it. For those of you who haven't already, please go ahead and press that subscribe button to become a member of the Oddball family. And go ahead and press that bell next to the subscribe button. And that way, every time I upload a video, you will find out straight away. For those of you who have already subscribed, thank you guys so much. You are my oddballs and I love you. And until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy decluttering. Let me know down below how it's going and I will see you all soon. Bye!